John Cena versus Bray Wyatt steel cage match. Bray Wyatt wins via escaping the door because a little kid scares the crap out of John Cena. And I didn't really like this match. Uh, I thought that this was typical John Cena crap. He beats the hell out of three guys at once, essentially, throughout the whole match. Anytime that Bray Wyatt is winning, it's only because Harper and Rowan are interfering. And even then, they're not in- interfering in ways that John Cena is really being uh, taken out and uh, you know causing a lot of problems. It's John Cena just kind of mildly inconvenienced. But that's never a good thing when people uh, criticize John Cena for the same crap all the time. So lots of uh, negatives in this. No real positives. I don't remember anything really standing out as being something good throughout the whole match. I'm glad that Bray Wyatt wins, but he, of course, had to win in some kind of a stupid-ass way. It's a shame. Sean? Fucking retarded. Fucking retarded. Why didn't John Cena just go for the pin instead of escaping all the fucking time? And I, do, I can't even remember Eric Rowan actually, not Eric Rowan, Luke Harper actually getting into the ring. I think that's when I started to nod off. And then I woke up around the time when that kid started singing. So, yeah. Good match. We go. Uh, you know what? I, I, I knew this was going to be the case. I knew that Bray was going to get his win back. I mean that's always the case, but uh, it's from what you're telling me, it was a standard John Cena squash matchup, and it was in a cage. And you know, with WWE cage matches nowadays, there's probably no blood, so it just to me sounds just completely lame. Although it's nice to finally have a cameo by Little Jimmy. Apparently, Little Jimmy's a heel. <laughs> just Little Johnny. Oh, was it? No, it was no, no, Johnny? it's no, it's Johnny, uh, not Jimmy. No, it's Johnny. Little. Uh... What's his name? Stone Cold. Our, uh, no, our truth. <laughs> Little Jimmy. Little Jimmy exists, and he's a heel, apparently. Little Marvin Gaye with that voice. <laughs> Where you go? Overbooked fucking bullshit. This match was fucking horrendous. It's a cage match. You don't need to overbook it for Bray to come out on top. You want to protect Cena? That's fine. Have Bray fucking escape through the door. You can have Cena trying to get out the cage and fucking Bray gets dragged through the door at the end or something. This match just made Luke Harper look weak, Eric Rowan look weak, and Bray look weak. It was stupid. Fucking stupid. So it was a Cena match, basically. It was fucking stupid. Drew? I don't hate it as much as you guys did, but I didn't think it was amazing. I, I it, it was just okay. If I had a... Was it... I forget if it was Rowan or Harper, but I remember at one point when Cena was trying to escape, and then one of the the Harper or Rowan climbed at the cage, put him on his shoulders, and took him back to the ring. I thought that was pretty cool. That was Rowan, I think. Yeah, I, I thought that was cool, but, you know, I, I've never liked the idea of you could escape via door. I think that's stupid. They need to get rid of that door, because I swear... It was so stupid. They even did a part when it had showed Cena was stronger than Rowan and Harper by tra- holding the door. Yeah, put together. To yeah, and God, that was so stupid. You know, I, it, this match was over overbooked, but I really don't hate it. There, I mean, yes, there were some really stupid parts. I didn't even like. I didn't even like little Johnny or whatever the fuck his name is now making an appearance. I thought I I, 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 I think a little white, but I. I don't know. I I have mixed feelings about this. You, well, you we all know Cena's gonna get the win back that he, he essentially won twice already. I don't even consider that a loss for him. So yep, can't wait for payback to happen. I can't wait for Bray Wyatt to look like an even bigger bitch then. Payton, I think you guys are overanalyzing this match. It was just John Cena versus a homeless dude inside of a steel cage. And eventually the homeless dudes started going crazy on him, but he's John Cena, so of course he could fight off homeless dudes. I mean, they're homeless. How dangerous can they be? Cena never fought off Seth Rollins. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm happy that Bray Wyatt got a victory here. I, I do wish he could have gotten a little stronger throughout it, but it's it's really not that deep. I think people are just looking for a reason to complain. I mean, it wasn't the best match in the world, but it was far from awful. 
And I really liked what they did at the end. I love what they're doing with Bray Wyatt now. For all the shitting on him we did when he first came around, all the character stuff especially, but even just the whole package in general, his match quality has improved. This not being a great example of that, but in general, his match quality has improved. The The character stuff as far as the, the lights going out and coming back on with crazy stuff happening, all the kids singing, it's, it's great. It's fantastic. Divas Championship coming up in the next part. Tamina Snuka against Paige. 